All right, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the infamous frame generation mod. Now I've seen that everybody else has already made a video on it. And when I initially saw this a couple of days ago on Reddit uh, with a post by the original developer, I thought this could be a neat thing, but it was still in beta and with a lot of issues on it, I wasn't really going to make a video on it, but I've decided to do one anyway. Now, what is this? It's a mod, it's a plugin that you install using Deki plugin that will allow you to use DOSS frame generation instead of the FSR one. So some games on Steam do have DOSS frame generation and that is uh, typically only available for NVIDIA cards but there is a mod out there that has existed for quite a while now that will allow you to actually uh, turn on frame generation with DOSS even if you don't use NVIDIA card. It has been possible to do that for quite some months now but the process is kind of tedious. You have to uh, replace a lot of files, you have to mess up with commands and what this mod does is it takes all of that away and makes it very easy. With just a click of a button you can enable that for certain games. So what you need to do is go into desktop mode and download Deki Loader. If you don't have Deki Loader that is a piece of software that you install on your Steam Deck and it will allow you to download various plugins. And I talked about it before, there are a ton of different things that you can add to your Steam Deck. All you need to do is just go to the page, click on download and then it will download this file that you put on your Steam Deck desktop and then you can execute it and that will install Deki Loader. After that you have to go to this link for the frame generation mode, I will link down in the description. It's called Deki Frame Gen. Why do you have to do it this way and not the official way? Because this is still in beta and it's not actually officially uploaded to Deki Loader. The developer has requested an upload and it's up for review by the uh, people who do Deki Loader. But since this is in beta, you have to manually install it. And once you download it, you can extract this and then you have to put it in a specific folder called Homebrew. Now, Homebrew folder is located. You go to Home, Deck and homebrew. Now if you don't do this next step you're not going to be able to actually paste the folder. You have to go into permissions and you have to enable can view and modify content for all of these for all of these drop downs and then you have to click the only owner can rename. After that you have to actually close the file explorer and then you can open it again and go into homebrew plugins and then just paste the Deki frame gen folder there. So what this will do is just will install the Deki frame gen and all you have to do then is just go back to gaming mode and you can find it with the rest of the plugins. You know, see Deki Frame Gen now, I've already installed it, but it's gonna say install FG mod. If I uninstall it now, I can reinstall it. So once this is installed, you will be able to patch certain games. Now this doesn't work for, for all of your games. It mostly works with games that support DOSS Frame Gen and it doesn't work well with all of the games. This is still in beta and this is why I originally didn't want to cover it because for some games it just makes it worse. Either way, once you do that you'll be able to see a list of games where you can just click patch and then you just launch the game, go into the settings menu of the game and you will see that the OSS is now enabled. In this case for Witcher I haven't patched it and I can see the OSS per generation I cannot turn it on. So I have to patch it, have to exit the game, and then when I relaunch the game, uh, I am going to have that option. Now, specifically with The Witcher, I, I found it to not work very well. Initially, it worked fine, but after that, I started to get these frame skips, or I don't know what you want to call it, but it's not good. Uh, you will see that your frame goes up, but the game becomes literally unplayable. So this might break some of your games. The good thing is that you can always just turn off the OSS frame generation and it will go back to normal. So as I said, this is doing better and some hiccups are expected. Uh, and this will actually work for some people just fine and it's not going to work for others like me. So I did test a couple of games. We are also going to take a look at Cyberpunk here. Now Cyberpunk does have frame generation with the uh, FSR 3 implementation and uh, I have previously showed it work on the Steam Deck and I think it works uh, really well. What you're looking at right now is DOSS frame generation and settings set to low. Now, while it does work, and I can't show it on this recording, but on the actual OLED Steam Deck, it will go up to 85 FPS. And while it does work, 
there are some artifacts. And as you can see, when I'm driving the car around, you can see that there is a lot of ghosting behind the car and it's really not, not great. Compare this with the FSR frame generation that is officially implemented in the game. You can still get up to 60 FPS or even more and there is no ghosting, there is no artifacts behind the car or uh, when uh, doing something with uh, high speed or uh, a lot of movement on the screen. So for some games, the official implementation is obviously going to work much better. But as I said, not all games support that. And uh, if you want to try it for your game, you can go ahead and just do that. You can always just unpatch it or just unclick the DOSS frame gen and it will work as normal. Now I've tested a couple of games here. I have Remnant 2 and for Remnant 2, as you can see, it does go up. Usually this game runs below 30 FPS. So with the frame gen, we can get up to 45, 50 FPS. But specifically with this game, the frame gen introduces a lot of input delay. And this is something that you're going to have to deal with these fake frames. Because it is creating two frames for every one frame, it's also going to introduce a lot of input delay, a lot of lag. And for some games, it's not noticeable at all, while for others, it literally makes them unplayable. And the last game I checked out that I think it works perfectly is Jurassic World Evolution 2. This is a top-down view game. It originally works at around 30 FPS on the Steam Deck. With this mod, you can get it to 90 FPS on the OLED. And uh, I think this is a game where input lag doesn't really matter. You can't really feel it. And I think this works perfect for games like this. So that's going to be it for installing this mod. I will link to an article that lists all of the games that do have DOSS frame generation on. And you can check some of those if you have them in your library. And as I said, sometimes it's going to work good. Sometimes it's going to work bad. So it's really up to personal preference. I don't really think this is so revolutionary as people make it out to be because most of the times it's really not going to help with your overall gameplay experience but anyway thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next one